All right. Um, my name is David Carter with CyberClean Systems, and I'm here at our lab in Richmond, Virginia, and I'm getting ready to uh, try to orchestrate a robot dance uh, with our uh, cleaning robots. We have, uh, I'm going to be running five robots in a sink, cleaning robots in a single space. Um, I'll be running a, uh, flip around, see it. That is a Nilfisk Liberty SC50. That is a uh, floor scrubber. So it will put water down and uh, scrub the floor and vacuum it back up. Just running the navigation, we're not actually cleaning anything right now. Um, the Discovery FX250 is a uh, sweeper vacuum. The uh, Nilfisk is running Carnegie robotic software. This would be running the Discovery software. Going back here to our little guy, this is a, this is a SoftBank Wiz running the brain operating system. He's already tagged up, ready to go on his cleaning routine. And the two smart guard disinfection robots, which uh, disinfect with uh, UV. Um, we have a, uh, a fetch base working with a smart guard tower. So what I have to do now is get everything ready to go here to, to send everything on its way. Now each one has been programmed with a specific cleaning plan. This is in no way a race or any kind of a competition. And my goal here is just to get everybody working together and finishing successfully. So everybody's ready to go. All right, so first one on the list, and we'll be starting. See if I can keep my my notes together here now. All right, there's one. My fault. My bad. Now we're getting there. who's next on the list. Discovery. Alright. And last but not least, my the other smart guard.
the navigation and safety features in each one of these robots are absolutely incredible. Uh, they will stop if you get in front of them. He stopped. Stopped. I almost hate to pick on the little guy, but let's see if we can stop him. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this one's needing to get in there and clean. We may have a little bit of an issue here because these two guys have to figure it out on their own. There's a lot going on. I'm right in the middle of it. <laughs> They did not touch. Again, incredible safety and navigation capabilities. Now what just happened was the this smart guard was supposed to come up in here from the other end but it encountered the whiz so then the navigation capabilities it didn't want to wait so it just found another route so it came in this side Now, I hope we don't time out, but we're actually, uh, Nilfisk is waiting on Smart Guard to finish up with its task. Alright. Now, I think Wiz is finished with its cleaning routine. This smart guard just finished its cleaning routine and went home. I don't know if you can see that. Cleaning complete successfully. I'm right in his way. So the smart guard made it to its location to continue its, uh, its cleaning routine.
Nilfisk is, I think it's finished up. We'll know when the light goes out. That blue light will go out. Nilfisk is finished and it went home. So we have Smart Garden Fetch finishing up and then we still have the Discovery finishing up its clean routine. Sounds like Discovery's finishing up. Clean complete. I think this guy has this spot and one more toward the back. And then uh, I'll be able to show you guys how it actually docks. It's pretty impressive how it uh, goes up onto the charger. This is its charging base, home base. Um, this little guy right here, this is its charging port. And it lines up on that. Really impressive. Maybe I was wrong. It is finished. Very precise. It is home. It was a successful run of uh, five five uh, OEMs with Discovery, Nilfisk, Wiz, Fetch, Smart Guard. That's five, and uh, they all completed successfully and went home. Now, I'm about ready to go home, too. <laughs> it's been a great week. Bye, everybody. I'm David Carter with uh, CyberClean Systems.